In this tutorial, we show you how to create an ugly looking water tornado that uh, looks pretty solid at you know, frame 30, around about here. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, step number one, select your default queue, press numpad one to be in front orthographic view, press tab, go into edit mode, press GZ1. Click, press tab, go into object mode, now your center is at the bottom, which means you can press S2 and it aligns along the red line, SX2, and now we've got a beautiful fish tank type shape, which will be our environment. We'll rename the domain to our liquid domain. We'll create a new collection for it and we'll chuck it in there. And then we'll go to our physics properties and we'll click fluid domain and change it to a liquid and we'll up the resolutions to 100. If you've got a graphics card, I rec recommend 150, 200. And uh, let's click on mesh and let's limit this animation to 120 and change this to all and make it resumable. Next thing you want to do is click on your wireframe mode with x-ray turned on, press shift D, right click and then press SZ and bring it down to about there and then rename this from liquid domain to liquid flow. Scroll up in your physics properties and change domain to flow, smoke to liquid and we are all set. Only thing left to do is to add the vortex, click force field vortex and the thing we're going to do with this vortex is uh, we are going to give it a negative strength of minus 20 and a flow of 1. And just like that, we're going to select this over here, and scroll down, and we're going to bake it in. All right, it's been baked in. So if we press play, we can see just like that, we've made an interesting water... Um, I would call that a water tornado type thing. The only thing I'd like to add to this is maybe another layer of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh. Well, I'm going to select this actually, which is a flow. And I'm just going to press Shift D, click. Shift D, click. S, Z, bring this puppy up. S G Z there we go and because that other bit is baked in we could actually theoretically delete this now and we could select this new thing over here change it to a domain make it a liquid, make it 64, and uh, make it a mesh, make it all, and make it resumable, and make it 120 as well, and make this 120 as well, and click File, save just in case it freezes when you bake this in and click bake all right now that that's baked in we can just press space bar and we can see how this looks and we still got that water over here now the only thing that we probably don't like let's pause it let's choose solid view mode only thing that we don't like is we're not seeing any movement on this water so one thing i want to do is select the shade smooth there and select this shade smooth here we probably want some movement here so what we could do is we could basically select our new liquid domain. Let's rename this liquid domain two. And let's rename this liquid flow two so we know which is which. Let's choose liquid domain two, scroll down here. Yeah? Free all, numpad one wireframe mode with x-ray turned on and then we can press shift a and we'll need to use a force field and uh, I think a vortex force field should be fine and all we need to do here 
is make this negative 10 and 1 and press R 180 press G and just chuck it just above the water over there and that should give the effect we're going for let's find out uh, perhaps even make minus 10 is fine yeah perhaps we just select this scroll down and we can bake it in unfortunately we didn't get the desired effect we wanted so I freed it and I'm going to select this vortex I'm going to press X delete and I'm going to use a different force field just so that it looks a bit more real I'm going to add what am I doing um, I'm in object mode, numpad 1, shift A, force field. Let's just add some wind on top of the water at the very least. So it doesn't just look so stagnant. And uh, I'm going to press G. Chuck some wind here. Yeah. Give the strength of, I don't know. Let's try 3. Shift D. R. 180 R and just bring it down as well and let's try and bake this in hopefully we get some sort of desired outcome here and we select the dom liquid domain 2 and we bake it in again and we see what we get all right so it's baked in let's see if the water moves at all clearly not enough so that's one problem so what I, what I could do instead of worrying about these let's press X delete X delete what I will do is I will free this up and I'll just do a cheap dirty trick free all I will press shift a mesh cylinder scale the cylinder in GZ chuck it here SZ and uh, S set, chuck it somewhere at the top here so it's possibly out of frame when it starts and then we can move the camera to bring it in frame and then we can click on fluid flow and we change this to flow liquid and we can leave this as is and if you want to have a little bit more fun, we could press Shift A, Mesh, and choose a UV sphere. S, scale this down. Fluid, Flow, Liquid, and just press Shift D. Add a couple of them, Shift D. Perhaps you want these to be lower. It would probably make more sense for this to be a little bit lower than the other thing G Z there we go and they're all set to flow I save your file and I think this will be the final bit and then we can just render this in bake this in and I'll see you after the bake but please don't forget to like and subscribe all right so the, the bake worked it's looking good the only thing you want to do yeah also is click on this render view mode to, to disable certain things in render and anything that's a flow you want to make sure it's disabled in render so we've got two flows here gone and then we've got these spheres here we already know every one of these spheres is a flow and then we've got the cylinder here. We know that that's also a flow. All right. And uh, now if we go to solid view mode, everything is shaded smooth already. Let's also disable all these spheres. There we go. Let's 
Let's play. Here we go. So that could create an, an interesting enough scene. And yeah, so that, this is pretty much the scene you saw at the beginning of this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a war cheap water tornado effect.